Is Kevin McCarthy a moron, and if so, why? Uh, I, I said earlier in my comment, science, 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 and science. On almost every subject that you can name, science is the answer. Whether it's the climate crisis, whether it's a health crisis, whether, it, whether it's our preeminence in the world and technology, science, 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 science. If she says science one more time, she'll melt. <laughs> So here's a perfect Friday story that doesn't involve Brian Kilmeade being locked in a men's room without his pants. Again. <laughs> Again. A man from Washington State wearing only a yellow dress stole a bus and escaped from cops in a chase that resulted in him plowing a front end loader through his ex wife's house. 39 year old Andrew Loudon had just got out of a psych ward. Now there's a shocker. But everyone's getting out these days. It's why Kennedy has her own show. <laughs> Yes. So he allegedly stole the bus last Saturday evening, and when the cops caught up with him, he refused to pull over. He blew through a red light, and instead of pursuing the sheriff's deputies, ended the chase. Why? Because the new police reforms dictates that. Then another county's deputies started pursuing him, but they also ended it too because of, you guessed it, the new law. Now, if I were a jerk, I'd say they gave up faster than a gymnast at the Olympics. <laughs> but I'm not a jerk, so I won't say that. <laughs> After Loudon ditched the cops and the school bus, he hitchhiked to the city where his wife lived, which raises a question. Who picks up a crazy male hitchhiker in a yellow dress? <laughs> Besides Bill Hemmer. <laughs> what can he say? He loves company. But whoever picked him up, I can only imagine the conversation in that ride. You know, what's the medical bracelet for? How was the prom? Is that Gucci? Also, please don't kill and eat me. It gets worse. He then steals a front end loader, which is different than a back end loader. That's the guy who delivers my suppositories. <laughs> a front end loader is a machine with a scoop on its front arm for digging up earth. Cat, you could use one when picking up your prescriptions. Oh. <laughs> so he takes off in the front end loader and uses it to smash into his wife's house, flipping a car into the home. Luckily, the suspect's ex had already fled. He was finally arrested. All in all, no one was killed, thank God. But really, that's just luck. You see the problem. The police reform laws. Reform. It sounds like a good thing. They make things better. But in this case, they did for the cross-dressing maniac. It's like liberals are classically trained in the art of wordsmithing. You're not for abortion. You're pro-choice. You're not an illegal immigrant. You're undocumented. You're not a living sack of poop. You're Chuck Schumer. <laughs> And they've done <laughs> mean jokes always work. <laughs> and they have and they've Painful done this <laughs> and they've done the same thing with reform. But so far, these reforms put people's lives in danger by pretending not to. In this case, police are now only to uh, only allowed to pursue suspects when there's probable cause of a violent crime. I guess fashion crimes aren't included. The driver has to pose an imminent threat. And somehow a multi-ton bus driven by a madman doesn't qualify. It's not like he was picking people up and taking them to the outlet stores. Now, if he was wearing a Make America Great hat, me, it would have been different, right? <laughs> Besides, it was a bus, not a Maserati. You could have sent a mall cop on a Segway. <laughs> I've seen Biden shuffle to the bathroom faster than that. <laughs> Loudon is now held on charges, including theft of a motor vehicle, malicious mischief, and not wearing an underwire bra. <laughs> Meaning he'll be out soon. So we're living in a time where we're told we must reform the police because we assume everything we're being told about the reforms by the press was urgent and good for us. They're like parents trying to get their kids to eat spinach, except the spinach only makes the criminals stronger. The worst reform, the no cash bail. Once you arrest an offender, you can't hold him because that discriminates against suspects who don't have cash on them. And the last thing we want to do is hurt the feelings of a broke mugger. I'm willing to bet, however, that most criminals don't have money for bail. They're not mugging people so they can contribute to their 401k. <laughs> so bail, as it's meant to be, shouldn't even consider the suspect's finances. This is nuts. Some of the most recently arrested thugs in NYC have racked up dozens of prior arrests. 
Think of all the victims who've been permanently damaged from that. Some are dead. And there's new reforms in California releasing buttloads of criminals claiming they're nonviolent, which is And now you can't arrest a shoplifter if he steals anything less than a thousand bucks. Do you know how far $900 goes at a CVS? <laughs> That's five bottles of Pantene, 10 tubes of Preparation H, and one Gillette shaver. That's the kill me package. <laughs> But I envy the thieves because they don't have to carry a receipt longer than the tax code. So who needs the cops when you can just tell the crooks what's an acceptable crime? Of course, the people getting the shaft when the stores permanently close, it's the locals, often minorities and elderly, who suffer. Fact is, today, reform is a fake word designed like a Trojan horse to usher in some seriously warped ideas about justice. But what do I know? I think stealing an entire bus and going on a high-speed chase is a crime worth pursuing whether you're in jeans or the latest from the Vera Wang collection. Welcome to tonight's guest. He's written six books and read half as many. Fox and Friends co-host Brian Kildee. She still mom arms her kids when she drives through an intersection. Host of Kennedy on Fox Business Network. Kennedy, yeah. while everyone on this panel was smoking crack, he was fighting a war in Iraq. Host of the podcast, Rob Smith is problematic, Rob Smith. Yeah. And she always has the last laugh because anyone who hears it immediately wants to die. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Kat Tim. Happy Friday, Brian. Thank you. What about the others? Just me? No, I'm going to you first uh, because okay. you own a yellow dress and a front right. end loader. Well, I, I'm, it's layaway. Gradually, by the end of the month, it should be mine. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Old, the layaway. My parents yeah. never did that. Really? No. Congratulations. They always told me it was on layaway. Right. And just so Speaking hope you of uh, layaway, uh, how's Fox and Friends? <laughs> could, could, <laughs> what, that is... That is that the sounds, worst opening question ever. That sounds ever. like an insult, too, but it right. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right, it doesn't. Leo, okay, so... You don't even know we have a morning show. You get up at noon with your no, alarm true. goes I, I said last night to our guest, uh, the dude, what's his name, Todd? Mm -hmm. Pyro, that I've never seen Fox and Friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, I've been on it. Well, you, he <laughs> hosted it. What are we talking about? <laughs> Chesa Budin, you know who that is? Yes. The DA. The DA San Francisco. San Francisco. Awful. I'm going to go to you, Kennedy. Enough from you, Brian. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> go ahead. You know what? You sit in the corner, and I'm going <laughs> to come back to you after Kennedy. All right, fine. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder. He, he, when, he, when he hears about these, uh, uh, these shoplifters, he wonders if they are just desperate. Uh, he, maybe they might be part of a criminal enterprise, but uh, they might be the ones that are being victimized. Yeah, he's he's the district attorney in San Francisco. He's doing as much harm to his city mm -hmm. as a district attorney in Portland, Mike Schmidt. And uh, these people are activists. Yes. And they don't they don't look at data. They don't look at statistics. They don't talk to crime victims. Mm -hmm. And the people who should get out. Uh, well, they do, but the people who really shouldn't, especially the repeat offenders that you talked about here in New York City, yeah. if you are going to commit felony assault, you probably should not be out waltzing around committing further crimes. Yes. And I, I disagree in that I do think that there are a lot of reforms that mm -hmm. need to be undertaken in this country in terms of policing and criminal justice. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this just blanket horrific of uh, these edicts that come from DAs who refuse to charge really bad people, it is making once great cities crumble. It is. It's true. So, Brian, have you I've learned my lesson? Yeah, I really. <laughs> I've learned a lot before, and I just like to apologize. All right, so yeah. we're going to give you back your bike. Okay, thank you. Okay, but stop riding it to the adult theater. You're right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are no such thing as adult theaters. Right. They all should be adults. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Should be. Who'd go there? Fox and Friends host says all theaters should be adult theaters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm anti kid. <laughs> You're anti kid yeah, yeah, yeah. and pro porn. Right. Can we, can I, I, I'm dying to answer a question. Okay, yeah. what do you make of these reforms? <laughs> Uh, you mean the reforms that they're talking about or not happening? They're I mean, happening. I mean, I'll give an example. Uh, they decided to do that in Chicago. They said if an assailant is getting away and they get too far away, let him go. Right. Okay, that's fine. So if you don't have great foot speed, good luck. So you pick out a cop who's working a block that you know you can outrun, yeah. anything goes. Yeah. Number two is when it comes to this, this guy's in a bus and he has to let the bus go 
And to me, that's a perfect example. I understand with police chase being out in Los Angeles, I know sometimes it got dangerous because the cops got too close, but the guy's in a bus. Unless it's the Partridge family, <laughs> they, uh, you got to stop that bus. Uh. The Partridge family's always late to a gig, and they had so many empty seats, they could have had the ELO in uh, <laughs> Electric Light Orchestra. They were a big band. They could have got the whole ELO in there. But I will say this, on the cop reform, the police reform, um, can I do that? Yes. Can I segue? Yeah, on police reform. Uh -huh. I think you should improve it. Just like, uh, for example, if you watch baseball, you see the strike zone there. If you watch football, there's an instant replay. You improve the game. Yeah. They should improve. Always. They, they're probably the most apt to say, give me two more weeks in the, uh, give me two more weeks in training. Right. I'm, I'm for that. Rather than rip, rip them and say, now do your job the right way, just, just different ways to do it and improve. That's where the money should be going. Mm -hmm. Increasing the academy time, going over past problems, making everyone more worthy. After six or eight weeks, well, excuse me, after uh, eight, to 12, uh, eight to 10 months, they go back to the academy for one week where they get paid to go work on their skills again. Because sometimes the first time is the last time they ever work on their policing skills. Mm -hmm. yeah. So many people in the Partridge family are dead. Right. Uh, Danny Partridge, though, survivably alive. Danny Bonaducci. Yeah, still alive. But the manager's dead. The Ruben manager, Kincaid Jack, is dead? Ruben Kincaid Ruben is Kincaid's dead. Oh dead. David Cassidy's dead. Right. I think Shirley Jones is dead. No, her husband's dead. Right. Jack Cassidy died in a fire. <laughs> Why am I going right. this? Rob, so in New York, we have, <laughs> Rob, we have catch and release. Yeah. But in California, they're not even catching anymore. <laughs> they're not even catch well, first of all, what, what is the Partridge family? I mean, I just, uh, <laughs> what that, is this something that you're supposed to know of? Is this live? Does he have to be on the panel? I, I, here's the deal. That's a, that, that is a booker's mistake. Right. How did he get on? I don't it know. Seems how like a, a, what about Susan Day? Is it she was like a like Bird's cartoon was family. This like a, was this like a 50s thing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. People in their 50s did watch it. Okay, so <laughs> back to the police reform. So I, I think that most people that have a... a uh, uh, the sense that guy gave them know that, you know, there are some police reforms that need to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. We can all agree on that. But they're going too far in a lot of these cities. Look, the first story, look, some guy gets out of the loony bin and then, you know, pops by a dress barn and yeah. then steals the <laughs> school bus and then the police aren't able to chase him. Like, that doesn't make me feel more safe. Yeah. And then you were talking about this um, law that decriminalizes thefts of up to $950. There was this uh, Twitter, this thing that went viral on Twitter that came out out of San Francisco. So these people were basically stealing all of these clothes. We're not rushing, yeah. just waltzing out of the store. They, it's just like a car waiting for us, like their Uber. It's yeah. like they took all of this stuff, they called their Uber, and then they just waltzed out. Yeah. So people are not feeling like there's going to be any consequences for this. Exactly. Stuff. That's that's the thing. They, I said that they look like me boarding the boarding a, a plane. Right. Got my bags. <laughs> getting it. Kat, I have a theory. Would you like to hear it? Yes, I would okay. love to. I, how did the... How did the most radical elements of society get in infiltrate this much? I think we've spread ourselves so thinly across so many ephemeral distractions. This thing, our phone. Everybody's so enveloped in everything else that these that the left, the hard left, took advantage of it. I think yes, and we I think there's another thing. And yeah. I also I also have a an answer to your okay. question in your monologue about the guy in the dress. Okay. Um, I know exactly how he got picked up. Because oh. whoever was in that car was super, super liberal. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, I gotta pick this guy up or I'm transphobic. Yes. Yeah. That's it true. It didn't matter if he had a hospital bracelet on or he was just stealing a bus and doing crazy. He was like, well, you know, I would, I don't, I don't want to be a bigot. Yeah. I'll be part of the problem. <laughs> That's exactly how it happened. That's exactly how this happens. Mm -hmm. Because any, I have faith that this many people are not this stupid, mm -hmm. but they are afraid to say, this is insane. Yeah. Because they, then they're not the, you know, wokey woke, wokest of the of them all. That's how you pick up a hitchhiker who clearly just, you know, is losing it and was stealing the bus. And that's how this happens. The wokiest woke of woke back mountain. Yeah. <laughs> how about that? That's great. That? That, see, that's why I'm sitting here. That you? chair and I'm over here. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.